Hello and welcome. This is World of Wastewater, and this is the first video in a series that will be going over wastewater exam questions. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe and share this video with friends studying for their exam as well. You can find a link to this 100 question exam below in the description. With that said, let's get started. How is sludge age determined? A. MCRT B. SVI C. F to M D. TSS The answer is A, MCRT, which stands for Mean Cell Residence Time. This is the amount of time in days that a cell of bacteria, or a pound of bacteria, also commonly called solids, remain in the activated sludge system. I want to note that on certain exams you may see SRT, which means sludge retention time. This essentially means the same as MCRT, however it is calculated differently. What is a sludge blanket? A settled sludge in a primary clarifier, B, solids floating over a weir, C, layer of solids on the bottom of a clarifier, D, something an operator wears. The answer is C, it is the layer of solids on the bottom of the clarifier. This is straightforward. Solids that settle within a clarifier make up the sludge blanket. Generally, a good sludge blanket height is 1 to 2 feet. How much oxygen depletion is needed for a valid BOD test? A. 0 0.5 B. 1.0 C. 1.5 D. 2.0 The answer is D, 2.0 milligrams per liter. BOD, meaning biochemical oxygen demand, is a common lab test which determines the strength of the wastewater and takes five days to complete. Every time this test is ran, the dissolved oxygen level must deplete by more than two milligrams per liter from when it started. It is also important to know that one milligram per liter of oxygen has to remain after five days for the test to be deemed accurate. This is called the two to one rule. The highest removal efficiencies in an RBC will occur in A. Cold weather B. Warm weather C. Temperature has no effect D. Rainy weather The answer is B. Warm weather the main point of this question is to understand that warmer conditions accelerate bacteria growth. Bacteria activity doubles for every 18 degrees Fahrenheit. However, conditions that are too hot will destroy many types of bacteria. What are the predominant organisms indicative of old sludge? A. Flagellates and amoebas B. Rotifers and nematodes C. Stalked ciliates and free-swimming ciliates D. Free-swimming ciliates and amoebas The answer is B, rotifers and nematodes. As you can see on this chart, rotifers make up a large portion of old sludge along with worms that appear as sludge ages. In this context, worms and nematodes are the same exact thing. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you found this helpful and please feel free to give suggestions for the future of this channel or on how I can improve the format. My goal is to help operators pass their exam. You can help support this channel by checking out the information in the description. See you next time on World of Wastewater.